<laughs> so we are dealing with history of Islam. Okay. And I, you know, of course, we we had this discussion a long time ago, maybe maybe last year. So, so evidence for idolatry in Arabia. I quoted Leila Naimi's uh, research. There has been further information also really? that Ahmad Al Jalad has looked at. Okay. Essentially, there seems like even before uh, the middle of uh, uh, seventh century, yeah. uh, for a couple of centuries, idolatry didn't exist in Arabia. So, did you find any evidence for idolatry in Arabia uh, pre um, when essentially when Muhammad is supposed to have been? What's the latest anyway? What's the latest now? The latest is uh, Leila Naimi's article has been. Uh, so she she wrote an article: no idolatry in Mecca, seventh century. Ahmad Al Jalad, Ahmad Al Jalad, Ahmad Al Jalad. More details. I asked him similar about, conclusion. Uh, about give me his historical facts. So. Do you, do you, do you, wait, 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 do you wait, have, wait. you know what he, what he did, he gave me historian, I give him historian talking about the existence of Mecca, yeah, before Islam, okay, no, he didn't accept it, hypocrite charlatan, I don't know why you waste no, your time don't, don't bring your hand like that, what did you so, think of the historian? He was, he, he doesn't, he doesn't, I don't know if you know him, he doesn't know how history works, he doesn't, he's, I think no, it's just a cameraman. No, he cameraman with some uh, notes on his phone and stuff. So let me ask you, doji hypocrite. Why? Why? What's what's wrong with these fellows? Do you not train your cameramen well before they show up here? They're not my camera. No, because you visit the video. That's why we put in not our camera. Not interested. Please you stay understand? away. Please, please no, stay away. We put in our camera. Thank you very much. You were happy when the Thank camera. Thank you. But if you can stay away, please. We're trying to have an intellectual conversation. We're trying to have an intellectual conversation. We're trying to have, we're you trying, the video. thank you, yeah, you but, the but thank video, you very much, okay, so evidence, not trustworthy, shameless, thank that's you, why. thank you very much, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, so history, Nas, evidence, yeah, that's, that's my book, that's, oh, okay. uh, I, I might have shown this a long time ago, so Nas, let me ask you a few questions, evidence for idolatry in Mecca, do you know of any evidence at all, from the, from the, any 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 historical evidence to ascertain there was idolatry no problem idolatry in the middle of in the middle of 7th century when mecca is supposed to have been uh, sorry when muhammad is supposed to have ministered against idolaters uh, so from the traditions like from sunni shia sources traditions uh, i mean if you have sira literature uh, in mind, if you have Hadith literature in mind, they are very late sources. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about qualified historical resources, i.e. contemporary evidence, some sort of contemporary evidence, archaeological, for the existence of uh, idolatry in Mecca in the 7th century. Uh, so when it comes to idolatry in the Quran, um, the Quran criticizes them. Um, um, it, it's not so much the belief in Allah, but it's more so that they do not worship Allah alone. But so my question associate. isn't my question my question isn't whether the Quran claims anything or not. The Quran is under scrutiny already. What is under scrutiny can't be a witness. My point is do you have any archaeological evidence for idolatry having been in existence in in and around in Arabia, Hijazi area in the seventh century? Yeah, so the type of worship which is criticized in Islam has to do with like supplication. So with that type of, you wouldn't necessarily expect there to be like archaeological type evidence. So the belief is in one God, but nonetheless they supplicate through either Mary or through saints or angels. And that is what is criticized or condemned in the Quran. In Mecca, in Mecca, was there in the in, in Mecca was there was there no idols? So it does seem like there were Christians in Mecca uh, and also Jews. Yeah, apart from them, were there pagan idols at all? So from the traditional sources, uh, it, it does mention that the Kaaba was filled with idols. Yeah, so, so in other words, we would expect to find archaeological sources for them. Do we have any? Not necessarily. What do you mean? If they're filled with idols, if idol worship was rampant, across the Arabian Peninsula at that time, we should, it's a, we, idols are archaeological artifacts. Yeah. We should find them. Where are they? Do we know? Do we have? Have we found any? Yes, so the archaeological uh, evidence for us today 
But in 7th century Arabia, once they embraced Islam, and since Islam is so anti-idol, um, the idols wouldn't have any news or meaning for them. So uh, uh, they would have been destroyed because they no longer worship the idols. So that would be my understanding in a nutshell. Okay, okay, all right, okay. So, but uh, do you have any evidence for the seventh pre seventh century existence of Mecca? Any pre seventh century existence of Mecca as a city? Uh, uh, um, so, uh, did Sam mention Tomali? Um, yeah, he he mentions from the second century or something. Uh, so uh, he, he's a historian and he has a map of the Arabian Peninsula and he mentions Mecca as Makraba. Yeah, Makraba, where does he place it? Uh, so it's not like, as, uh, it's basically um, west coast. Yeah, so west coast, but where? North or south? Um, uh, middle, middle west coast. So you, you think Makraba that he refers to is the Mecca of today? Yes. So if, if there is evidence... What Neil, Neil Robertson, uh, Neil, what? Interpret Neil Robertson from Leeds University, um, in his book Discovering the Quran, uh, he interprets that to be a reference to Mecca. Uh, Mecca. Okay. No problem. So when, in terms of, in terms of, in terms. I'm just looking for the map. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. In terms of the inscriptions that we have, we have very solid evidence today. For, for, for monotheism, we, we, we have, so you mentioned earlier when I asked about idols, you mentioned idols were destroyed. But remarkably, remarkably, thousands of inscriptions have been found, rock inscriptions. Thousands have been found, many with references to idolatry. Many. So, in terms of idolatry, many, given that many have been found, you also find uh, you also priest, like sixth century. You mean sixth or fifth century? Yeah, essentially, 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 the first few centuries, oh, okay. uh, five, six centuries pre-Islam, we have uh, ins rock inscriptions, pre-Arabic, Nabataean script, proto proto-Arabic, proto-Arabic, Nabataean inscriptions, and what we what find is inscriptions say. What we find is for a couple of centuries before Islam is supposed to have arrived on the scene, there was no idolatry. We have evidence for that. Okay. So idolatry in Islam is not necessarily worshipping a statue, can also be in... No, no, but you agreed earlier, Kaab in Mecca, there was idolatry. And those that idolatry is classical idolatry with physical idols. So idolatry existed. So please don't talk about, you know, um, essentially there was clear classical idolatry. But in the rock inscriptions, we find evidence to the contrary. Yes, so according to uh, the traditional sources from like Sunni Shia sources, uh, they make mention of the Kaaba being filled with statues. But they are late sources, late sources, very late sources. Which uh, sources do you have in mind? Um, so you can say Ibn and Ishaq. Uh, but Very late source. Uh, but Ibn al-Ishaq is not necessarily the, the first or earliest biography of the Prophet. There were other biographies as well. And Ibn al-Ishaq incorporates like pre-existing sources. What is the earliest uh, evidence for Ibn al-Ishaq? Uh, in manuscript form, I don't know. Of, from the Ibn al-Ishaq, we don't know. Ibn al-Ishaq is no, by no means uh, is an available artifact today. Ibn Isham isn't even available. So please, I want early sources. I don't want late. Well, in terms of manuscriptal evidence for, for, for what we are talking about, we don't have these things. So what I'm asking is, what I'm asking is very simply, please use early evidence. I don't have a nice. problem with early the, evidence. I accept late sources that are based upon pre-existing material. So I, I accept How, so, okay, use late source. Use late source. So, what's that? So like the Old Testament, like the book of Genesis. I accept Genesis uh, even though the manuscripts are like uh, more than 1300 years uh, after Moses. No, the for... for, 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 for the Dead Sea Scrolls. If you want to have a debate on this as to why the Old Testament is credible, I can get into this. So, Nas, 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 I'm, 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 because you're making a false, no, 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 you're, you're making a false equivalence. You're talking about a false equivalence here. Israel, Israel as a nation, was a nation 
which experienced signs and wonders over a prolonged period of time. Prolonged period of time. In Islam, you don't have it. So you can't, you can't, you can't compare them both. Genesis is offered by Moses, but the earliest manuscripts for Genesis, I believe, is from the Dead Sea Scrolls. But are you listening to what I'm saying? You're not listening to what I'm saying. Is if you want to, the, what I am saying is the biblical narrative, the biblical case, the the way in which we approach the approach the biblical case is very different because. In the case of the biblical community, they were a people group who, who saw signs and wonders over a prolonged period of time, including even in the time of Jesus Christ. Signs and wonders. You don't have this with Islam. When you don't have this with Islam, you can't just make things up as you go along. What are the documentary evidence for the signs and wonders that the Israelites witnessed? Okay, let's start here. For the Bible, Let's start with Jesus Christ. Do you agree Jesus performed signs and wonders? Uh, from the Quran, yeah. But do you... In the, Quran, yeah. the, the Quran is under scrutiny. You haven't provided any evidence for the Quran yet. So is the Bible under scrutiny as well? Absolutely. The so Bible can be... The Bible... No, no, not, 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 not while its veracity hasn't been established. While it is treated as a... Uh, as a doubtful literature, without you can't use that. As a lit who doubts the Quran as a contemporary text from the time of the Prophet? So, for who doubts the Quran? What? Yeah, as a contemporary literature from the time of the Prophet or from the seventh century. We have all sorts of problems with the Quranic history. Also, a do we have any? Do we have any manuscripts for? Uh, do we have any of the Uthmanic manuscripts available today? According to Sidki, uh, we may have either 99% or 100% manuscripts from the 7th century or from the first. Let me ask you this question again because you're not addressing my question. Do we have any of the Uthmanic mushafs today? So the Birmingham manuscripts, for example, is identified with either coming from Uthman's time or, pred or predating Uthman. But do we have any of the Uthmanic manuscripts today? So I mentioned the Birmingham manuscript. So you claim or Birmingham... Possibly the Sana as well. So you claim Birmingham manuscript is Uthmanic manuscript? It's from his time. I'm not asking that. This is why you are evading my question. My question in specific is Uthmanic manuscripts. The standardized manuscripts that Uthman produced Uthman ordered to be produced, which were produced according to Islamic tradition. Do we have any evidence for them today? So I'm not the best person to ask. But 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 you are reasonable. I mean, if you can't answer this question, no one can. No no Muslim can. Do we have any Uthmanic? In your knowledge, in your knowledge, is there any Uthmanic mushaf today? Um, if you go which one? To, if you go to the Islamic Awareness website. But which one is Uthmanic mushaf today? Yes, if you go to the Islamic hyphen awareness. I've gone through, I don't think they talk about Uthmanic manuscript today. No, 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 I, I've gone through the entire list. They don't talk about, uh, they don't. Please, please, find out, please, and tell me which one is the Uthmanic, which ones are Uthmanic manuscripts. Uh, yes, yeah, so they've identified, um, for example, from Top Copy Istanbul. Top Copy is Uthmanic manuscript? Or from Samarkand. Top Copy and Samarkand are Uthmanic mushafs, is what they are claiming? Where are they claiming that? Where are they claiming they that? They also have the um, yeah, Istanbul again. Where are, where are they claiming that? I don't see the claim. Where are they claiming that? Uh, yes, I beg your pardon. I made a mistake. Yeah. Um, they say. Um, sorry, I had it here. Um, sorry, I had it before. Um, but, but, but yeah, basically they're not making the claim. No one is. I went through so the entire thing. No, no, no one is making this claim. This idea of Uthmanic Musafs. But there are manuscripts that are identified from the time of, 
are Usman, or if not, even earlier than What Usman. is the evidence? No, this is not true. Nas, you're making like things up as you go along. Like the Birmingham men. Birm no, no, no. Please, you're making things up as you go along. Please don't do that. No manuscript today is credibly identified as Uthmanic Musaf today. How many manuscripts do we have from the time of the disciples of Jesus? Let's go to that later. I'm talking about the Quran. I'm talking about the Quran right now. Yeah, but we have to be fair, isn't it? No, we, you can't, we, you I'll, I'll come to I'll come to the Bible in a little bit. I'll so come to the Bible. Do we have any first century manuscripts of Matthew or John's Gospel? You understand, Nas. You should very well understand the context we are talking about. You're comparing apples with oranges. You would you would understand this? Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, it Islamic Islamic land. We don't want to discuss Islamic Hijazi land. Nas Hijazi land, Mecca and so on. Hijazi land hasn't been hasn't been Nas Hijazi land hasn't been taken over continually from the time of Muhammad. Hasn't been taken over. No, it's not. We are talking about the Quran right now. Uthmanic Musaf don't exist. Do we agree on this? Uh, I disagree. Uh, I just need to so, I need to read more. To okay, that's fine. You, you please do more. But by, while you do, I don't have a problem because we have first. But while you do more, while you do more, don't disagree already. Don't do. Because when you have, when you have to do research, don't make the claim already. So Uthmanic Musafs don't exist. Number one. Number two. Let me come to this, please. Do we have any of the early manuscripts complete, Quranic manuscripts complete? When is the earliest complete Quranic manuscript? I don't know from the top of my hand, but we have first century manuscripts which are either 99% or 100%. Which one is that? Um, so like the Birmingham manuscript. Birmingham, Birmingham manuscript is 99%? No, I said the uh, manuscripts all together from the first century. I'm talking make about up the Quran. Is there a single manuscript which is an entire copy, which is an entire Quran? Okay, when is the earliest? When is the, when is the earliest? When is the earliest? When is the earliest, when is the earliest complete Quran we have?